Okay, dear students, let us start doing this question. A solid metal ball is dropped from a tower. The variation with, with time of the velocity of the ball is plotted. Okay, so this is a kind of a, a very old thing and we have done it like so many times now. So this is the velocity of the ball and obviously after some time it is going to become constant and we all know that this particular velocity is known as VT that is terminal velocity. Okay, a hollow metal ball with the same size and same shape is dropped from same tower that is it is dropped from the same height. What graph will represent the variation with time of the velocity of the hollow metal ball? And in the first case, you are using a solid metal ball. The difference is this. So in both of the cases, there is this building and we are dropping the ball. U is given as zero. So my dear students, I tell you, um, it's not uh, given in the IB books though, but there is a formula for terminal velocity and this formula is two by nine rho minus sigma divided by eta into g. Now, my experience says that you won't be needing this formula ever in IB, number one. But why I'm giving you this question, this formula here, I want to tell you the expression, like how do we derive this expression? So what we do is, like let us say this is the, uh, the ball and this is the weight that is m into g. So it is being acted upon by two forces which are pushing it upward whenever a ball is like thrown in water, let us say. So the first, for, first force is viscous force which provides you friction, okay. The air is tra trying to drag, it, it can be called as drag force, frictional force, viscous force, whatever. Now the other force is the buoyant force which is known as up thrust when a body is thrown in water, it, is, it experiences an, an upward force. So that upward force is the point force. Now, we derive this formula by equating all these forces because at some certain time, velocity becomes a constant, so acceleration becomes zero, so F net becomes zero. So the upward force, uh, that is FV plus B, should be equal to the weight. And through this, we derive this formulation. Now, in our first case, this is a solid ball, so mass is bigger, so downward force is very heavy, so definitely it is moving down and it takes time t, let us say, it would be having higher velocity. But the hollow metal ball, everything else is same, Fv will be same because the size of the ball does not change, B will be same because the size of the ball does not change, but the weight will change. Now, out of three forces, only and only the downward force is changing. So, obviously, the velocity that it will be gaining will be lesser. So, by this explanation, what can I say? Okay, I'm erasing this everything now. So, what can I say according to these graphs now? Obviously, the velocity gained now will be lesser. So, either it will be C or it will be D. But it cannot be D because it will not be that lesser. Okay. It will be very small and initially for some initial period time the velocities will be same because our viscous force is anyways going to be equal to zero so initially the velocities have to be same but after some time there will be a difference got it so that is why our option will be c so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also share the youtube channel with all your friends all the best